Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Latanya, and this is Remind Me to Read. Today's video is going to be a book haul, and all my books came from thriftbooks.com, which is a very inexpensive website. So I've been shopping on thrift books for years, but this is very rare. I usually go to my library. I'm very fortunate that I live in Miami and there is so many different bookstores and they're all in one system. I go to any library in Miami with my library card and pick up a book. They also have the online system for ebooks and audiobooks. I know some people are very fortunate to have a library with so much access to different books, new books, classics, you know, not very popular books as well. So that's just one thing that I wanted to say because you do not have to purchase books in order to be on booktube. If you are making videos on booktube, you do not need all of this. This is just books accumulated from years. If you're not purchasing books, you're probably doing something right. <laughs> anyway, one thing about me is that I check out books from my library before I actually buy them. If I don't like a book or like I'm not familiar with an author, I'm not going to just buy their book all willy-nilly instead of actually having an idea of whether I like their book or not. If it's a favorite, I'm going to buy it. Sorry for the glare of my glasses. They're just so cute. I'll try to stay down here. I bought nine books. Two of them are doubles just because with thrift books you can never know the quality of a book. Like they'll say it's good condition but I feel that everyone's good condition isn't the same and sometimes you'll get a hardcover and the hardcover does not have the jacket such as these books I got from my um, library, the Divergent series. They took off the jacket, and I like the jacket. I'm going to start with this one because it came in a box for some reason, instead of a bag. I got nine books, and all of this was $42. If you spend $10, you get free shipping. But there was like, I had like a bunch of books in my wish list, and I was like, I'm going to finally buy them and fill out my bookcase. I just got this bookcase. I have never had a bookcase in my life. I usually just stack my books on the floor or up against my up in my closet. I was very fortunate to be able to get a bookshelf this year and I just put it in my dorm and I will hopefully have this for a very long time. I got it from Ikea. It's the Billy bookcase. Just the three stack because I didn't want to get the tall one in my dorm. Because usually you're supposed to um, anchor that and I can't anchor in my dorm. This these types of packages because it's very hard to open. Oh my god, I got a peek of it. The reason why my purchase wasn't cheaper than $42 is because I bought Fangirl. I love this book. It was like one of the first books I read that actually had like a college experience. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And there are like three editions of this book. The green one, there's a pink one, I think a red one. Now, I wasn't sure, I knew I didn't want the green one because that's just the regular book, but I wanted either the red or the pink, but I wanted whatever I bought to have a really cool, you know, inside. The red one has fangirl written on the pages on the side, but I got the pink one as you can see, I just got really excited. <laughs> what? Just call me the Hulk, you know. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Yeah, so this was $16. I felt like I, could, I just could go ahead and purchase a $16 book. Just because I really wanted it. Because so I got um, Eleanor and Park, and I had to get this edition because I like what it said here in the... Um, inside you have to read it to figure it out and also like the art in the inside oh my god i don't know if that was a spoiler i'm so sorry the art in the inside i had to get this edition which is a barnes and noble edition and i think this is the barnes and noble edition for fangirl yeah just the inside the art um i don't think the hard covers oh it had to like be this is why i got this book instead of the red one because it says calf with a Starbucks um, coffee thing. <laughs> Starbucks coffee cup. I forgot what the other one had, but I think this one is so much better. It's so precious, I can't wait to reread this book. So I ordered all these books at one time, so I don't know why they all came in different things. 
what we get here. The Start of Me and You. I have never read this book, so that goes against my rule of only buying books I've read, but it was not highly recommended, but a booktuber. I forgot her name, but she's one of my favorite booktubers. <laughs> she liked this book and I, I trust her and it's thick. Usually, not that thick, but I, I usually don't mind buying a book if it's thicker. And this was probably only $4, so. So the other thing about thrift books as well, their stickers come off pretty well. Next book in here is Knife Edge from the Knots and Crosses series. I only have the paperback, so I got um, the hardcover because I just wanted to make sure that I got a very good quality book. But you see, it's taller than the others. I just wanted to match the black and white. Let's open another bag, and this one has three books in it. Step Up by Monica McCahan. When I was younger, I used to read the, the Kamani True books, and they're really good because they always had black characters. Black girls, black boys, and I didn't read all of them, but this was one of my favorite series. This is like the newest book in the series, but I mean old because it was a long time ago. I never read it because I didn't know it was coming out, but now I have it. And this is the first book. This is the first book. Indigo. Indigo. I used to call it Indigo. That's the color, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Indigo Summer by Monica McCann. And this is the last book in the series. I have the other ones at my parents' house that fill up the series. I just really used to love these books. I can't wait to read them again. Oh my god. Nostalgia is all over me. Right now. Oh, okay. Night Circus. I have not read this book, so that's, I'm breaking my rule again. But this comes highly recommended by the by Clockwork Reads on Hero on Booktube. This is one of her favorite books ever, maybe her favorite book ever. And I started reading it, but <laughs> twice I checked it out from my library, but I had to return it. So I said, okay, I'm finally just gonna buy the book. It's on here cheap, so I'm going to get it and read it this year. I'm gonna open these up off camera and then show you what I got. Okay, so I'm really excited right now because I just opened um, this book, Double Crosses from the Knots and Crosses series by Mallory Blackman, and it says it's a signed copy. I did not know that. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I, I haven't looked at it, but let's see if it actually is signed because it might just be a lie. Wait. Is that it? Oh no, no, no. There it is. Oh my god. And I got this like super cheap. I don't remember the price exactly. I thought this was the signature. But actually, there it is. Okay, so I'm very happy about that. I actually bought this book twice because I wasn't sure um, which cover would... It's the exact same cover. I'm shocked. Because on the website, this had blue on it or something. Like it was a different, com different cover completely. So I said, let me just see. Let me get the hardcover since it's it actually looked like this, but I didn't say it was signed. So I think I might return this one because I haven't I've never read Double Cross. I think yeah, I never read Double Cross. Cross this is the last book in the series, so I never read it. If I don't like the book when I read it, I might return this one. I don't know. Thrift Books is good with returns. I believe I returned books twice. They gave me back my money and let me keep the book, but another time it's because they gave me my order twice. You know, I had like twice the books. It was very weird. Love that that sign and it's hardcover and it's beautiful. And last book is Everything I Never Told You, which is um, one of my favorite books ever by Celeste Ng. I love this cover. It's kind of a little bit bent up and out of shape, but I can't wait to reread it because I'm so happy to have it. And I didn't have to spend a lot of money on it. Or no, I think I spent $7, which is pretty cheap, even though it's a little damaged. All right. So that is it for my book haul, my thrift books haul. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have these books or have ever read these books or you want to read these books, tell me down, down in the comments below. I hope you have a great day or night. Bye.